leadership, man? What what makes you a leader? What makes you a creative leader, man? Well, I think ultimately when we talk about leadership, it's the why comes into that so much because you have to lead something you feel passionate about. Uh, for me, I think that when you love something and you're excellent, what happens is you win. That, that desire to want to win, you know, that desire to win is important. Leaders are created over time. When we were talking about winners and leadership, and I think they, they're synonymous. You're not gonna lead too long if you're not winning. And a true leader, in the, in the cliche term, never quits, right? When you don't quit, you're bound to win. And it's the failures that get you back to the wins. You know, the first time you fail and you, and you figure it out and then you win, then you want that taste again. You want that feeling again. What motivates us and, and, and what helps us move forward is success. <laughs> so we always have to ask ourselves, why do we do what we do? Uh, we all go in and out of good and bad feelings. And in doing that and knowing your why, you always know that soon, is gonna be good. I know everything's gonna be all right. Everyone has different whys, but I think most of the time, when you say this is why I do what I do, it always ends up being doing something good for somebody else, and it brings us joy. And one of the things that I've known through my journeys is that I found out early that I felt like I was special. And I think that's important to find out what your why is because it's those things that make you feel special. And in feeling special, one of the things I enjoyed is I really, really love being of service. I find myself always helping out, whether it's my mother, whether it's my grandmother, my grandfather, even my friends. They always know, hey, Matt always wants to help. And there's opportunities to share and hopefully, you know, impact someone. Moving here, I had an opportunity to be in an organization I just knew they were winners and it was the Russell Center. And I heard about H.J. Russell and, and all he did for us. It's just been such a great opportunity to work with the Russell Innovation Center for Entrepreneurs. I love the home of the Rice Center. Another organization I was so blessed to be a part of was the Atlanta Black Chamber. And I moved here again to do business with people who look like me, who had the similar struggles I have. And it was just home and it was 30 members and we're up to 700 and I'm watching both of these entities grow and I know and I pray and I appreciate the opportunity to be a part of something great and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be able to share it and hopefully it's helping someone the cliches of positive thinking I think it's real and the more we grasp onto that and understand that I mean life changes